In this video, we're going to talk about the accordion widget in jQuery. Now, this is one of the most popular widgets in the jQuery UI universe. It packs a lot of power. And basically, what it will allow us to do is create panels that we can collapse for each one of our sections. Now, you can see here I've updated this main section, the left section, if we uh, scroll up here. You can see I've created three main sections in our left section. I've created a section on ancient Rome, a section on ancient Greece, and a section on ancient Egypt. So you can see those three sections here. So what we want to do is apply the accordion widget to all of these sections and get those nice collapsible panels. Now, the first thing we need to do, of course, is decide how we want to accomplish that. We could create an ID for each one of these divs, but that's a lot of unnecessary work. We could also use this ID, but I prefer to keep this clean. So let's go ahead and create a separate div container so that we can wrap all of our sections in that container. So let's just go ahead and we'll copy and paste this right below. And we'll give this uh, a different ID here. We'll give this an ID of panels. Nice and original, right? Four collapsible panels. And then we need to just come down here and close it out. And so let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And we can just put this right here. So now we've closed it out. So basically we've got all of our sections now wrapped inside this div element tag that we gave an ID of panels. And this is the ID that we're going to use for our jQuery code. We're gonna reference it down here. So let's go ahead and you know what, let's keep our tooltip for Julius. Let's not get rid of that, might as well keep it. So we'll just copy and paste this line and we'll put it right down here. And then we need to, of course, reference our ID, which of course is panels. And now we need to specify the accordion method. And there we go. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and take a look at that. All of our sections now are in these nice collapsible panels. Now let me go ahead and scroll up here so that I can talk a little bit more about this and how this works. So you can see by default, our first section, our section on ancient Rome is open. That's the first one. But you can see how much space we're saving now. Take a look at that. This is the ultimate space saver. See how much space we have down here? If you remember, this Julius Caesar image was crunched all the way at the bottom here. But now we have all of this space. So it really allows you to pack a lot of content within a confined area. And also these panels just look really awesome in my opinion. So let's go ahead and we'll open up the second section on Greece. And notice now the first section is collapsed and the section that we wanted open reveals the content on ancient Greece. And let's open up the third section and you can see now the top two sections are collapsed. So that's how it works. Now the way this works is the headline for each one of these sections will be pulled from the H2 header, whatever we have in here. So you can see the first section corresponds to what we have in this H2 element and the same for the ancient Greece header and the same for the ancient Egypt header. Now what happens is the jQuery UI will find this H2 header and will display whatever content we have. And of course it reads section on ancient Rome. And then it will look for the next block level element, which in this case is this div tag. And that will be the content within the section. So basically the div must come come right after the H2 element in order for this to work properly. So again, you just have to remember that after your H2 element, you immediately want your div and it'll be the same for every section that you want. So basically just an H2 element or an H3 or an H1, whatever you want, and then the block level element, which is likely going to be a div. That's how it works. And you know, let me show you an example of what happens if you get rid of one of the H2 elements. So let's go ahead and we'll just, you don't have to do this, but I'll do it. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this for a second. So I'll go ahead and save this and you're gonna see what happens here. See what happened? It took the text from our div and it just made that the header. So that's why you need that H2 element. And you can't even really collapse it anymore. There's nothing to collapse. It basically made that the header and your content is essentially gone. So that's why you need the H2 element. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste that back in here and we'll save this. We'll refresh our page and now it's back to normal. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we will review the options and there are many options for the accordion widget. See you guys then.